welcome back to the channel everyone it's the eradicator and we are having a gameplay video today as i will attempt to get for you guys to show you the good ending of the investigation mission whoa i think i almost crashed here at the Kovalex. so where am i here i am around the moon of Daymar, which orbits crusader and around that moon there is an abandoned station here from Kovalex shipping hub uh which is here the Kovalex uh, shipping <laughs> from Kovalex, right uh, which is called the Kovalex gondo Kovalex is a shipping company uh, in the standard system and this is where they used to have all of their different boxes for deliveries unfortunately there was a problem the station has kind of blown up right and so in this investigation mission i am going to try to find out what happened right and this is a mission that you can find in the personal tab in the moby glass and uh, it's basically the wife of the person who has been incriminated who believes that her husband was innocent and so we are going to have to find uh, evidence as of whether he was or not now there are two possible endings to that mission there's an easy one it's super easy uh, which basically is going to result in uh, the husband being guilty and there's a difficult one here which is going to uh, force us to find some extra evidence that is going to show that he is innocent and that is what we're going to be going for in this video so what i'm doing here i'm just parking the ship outside of the entrance of the Kovalex Gondo, you have to enter the facility by this broken window here. So you have to go in EVA. And we are going to go straight to that computer. Now, I know that a lot of you guys are going to be trying maybe this mission because uh, we're having the free fly event. So if you are a if, if you are a free fly account, let's listen. Give me a shout back when you clock in. Just wanted to follow up a bit on the distro issue. Talk to you in a bit. Yeah, it's just basically the uh, the Darnell's boss here, a little cardio. So what I'm going to do, we are going to go straight to that elevator, and we're going to go to the third floor, which is the only one that's accessible here. So as I was saying, if you are if you have a free fly account and uh, you probably are doing those missions because it's a very easy way to get eight thousand of a UEC. But getting the good ending is also going to be uh, unlocking, supposedly, some extra missions. So you see there was a hub with a computer on the far left. Uh, this is not the one, it's the one on the left. Uh, there's one that's empty here, so that's uh, blocked here. So this is the one that's locked. Look at that. We can actually interact with this, retrieve data. And it's going to give us some information here, uh, telling us that uh, they haven't touched it here. Uh, check with Ava. She said to just leave it. Ozoki isn't a person of interest in the investigation. Uh, cleanup teams will reset the code when they sweep the station. So it looks like this uh, door, this particular door, is locked. Oh, maybe there is something inside that is going to prove Donald's innocence. Uh, so that's what we're going to be looking for. Of course, as I said at the beginning of uh, uh, at the, the the hub that's right on the left, there is a computer which was Donald's uh, Donald's um, Donald's hub here, which is where you have a laptop that is going to incriminate here because he's obviously getting drunk, and that could be the reason why the station blew up. But uh, you are going to see that it's a little bit more complicated than that. So you could just get the eight thousand alpha UEC by now if you had. Uh, if you had uh, retrieved the data from his computer, but it's not interesting at all. So instead, we can see that uh, our next job is going to be looking for the password or at least a way that is going to let us open the door, but looks like it's not on uh, in those hubs here. There's another hub here. It is closed, but we can retrieve the data here. Do not tamper. This room has been sealed as a crime scene. All persons are forbidden to enter without express permission from the lead investigator, which we're not going to meet, by the way. The station, in case you were wondering, the station is totally empty, so it's not going to be changing anything. And I try to open the door. For some reason, it is locked and I can't get inside. More empty halves here. It's funny because those halves look exactly like those that you spawn into when uh, you are in one of the rest stops at the Lagrange Point or at Port Orlizar. Now, of course, since the station is not working anymore, then everything is in uh, is everything is um, is an EVA. There is no gravity at all. No computers there. Everything is offline again. By the way, guys, uh, if you have never finished this mission with the uh, with the good ending, please let me know in the comment section down below, guys. That is the giveaway question. Do you still do this mission from time to time? Have you ever successfully found 
the good ending, let me know in the comment section down below. And uh, of course, uh, we're going to uh, retrieve the data here. And we really have to be looking for anything related to Ososki here. Uh, so this is a scan protocol about the, the Gundo stuff. Recently, there's been an increase in contraband and black market activity in the sensing system. Oh, could that person maybe uh, be uh, involved in uh, contraband, perhaps? Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for visiting uh, Astromada's uh, plan and flight service. Uh, designed as a building. Mm -hmm. Interesting that uh, something uh, is a little bit shady here with this uh, Miss uh, Ozoski, obviously. Uh, new message pending here, but for some reason this is not interactable. So it looks like I will not be able to uh, interact this. And anyway, uh, as I said, there, there's a, a, a giveaway question, right? But uh, what's in it for you if you answer the giveaway question? Well, by the end of this month, you can win a Constellation Taurus. Uh, so all you have to do is to subscribe to this channel. Make sure that you are, that you are in public settings because very often I've got winners who are in private mode and I cannot tell whether they're subscribers or not. And as a result, I have to throw another winner. So that's very unfortunate, right? Anyway, let's keep on going. And it looks like there is another database here. So let's retrieve the data here from the airlock. And it seems that uh, this is the HAP code list. Mm -hmm. So this code seems to be uh, outdated, 1352. So we're not going to be able to enter with that code, unfortunately. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. But we do have the code for the other, <coughs> for the other that was, uh, that was, um, no, that was not available. And there's also from the door. Oh, yeah, pretty much all the codes, but yeah, pretty, pretty useless. Anyway, let's keep on going. Let's keep on going and we'll keep on looking for all of these uh, data pads here and emails to find extra information that could be good, could possibly uh, help us here. So they're performing here a security check with uh, access codes. And do you, all right, well, we're getting those codes here. And this one is going to, uh, I think that this is the one that is going to uh, allow us to uh, to open the, the hub later because uh, pretty much everything after that is not really but we're still going to check just in case i want to show you uh, a full tour here of the facility so this is another elevator shaft that is uh, so we're coming from this third floor here oh no we were at the second floor well we're back in the third floor my bad we were uh, and we're back at the third floor and uh, that's kind of a server room here and we're going to be uh we're going to see how Darnold died, unfortunately. So all of these are uh, servers that are not working. I don't know why this one is blue. Some of them are yellow, some of them are blue, but none of them are interactable, unfortunately. So there's a message right hey, here. Hey, it's Darnell. <laughs> Where the hell have you been? Your shift started three hours ago. I know. I'm sorry. I did a breakdown of the current power flow for the station and it's looking like I'll need to run a stress test on the whole system to see where the runoff is. Mm, okay. Hey, just be careful. Sounds pretty drunk. <laughs> Will do. I'll keep a close eye on it. Sounds good. Sure and now we're going okay? to have a look at the servers so here. And yeah. uh, you can we'll see that uh, night, so we as we are going to be uh, going down, things are right. not doing well, so well. So let's go down and uh, run protocol here and you're going to see life pressure. Oh no, not doing so cool. Pressure system, I, uh, data system here, uh, all green so far. But as we go down, unfortunately, it keeps going, uh, you know, silent, silent, silent. System overheating, system overheating, power system, offline, decompression detected, system failure, system failure, and then boom. So this is, uh, well, it's kind of a sad part, but at the same time, yeah, kind of explains uh, in case you were wondering why is the station abandoned and what happened, there is the answer right here on the third floor here. All right, well, we're going to get out of here and uh, we'll go back to the the other part of, uh, of the first floor, which is where we're going to be, or the third floor, sorry, which is where we're gonna have the hubs and uh, we are going to open the uh, the hubs from Ovoski because there's pretty much nothing else to do from here.
Of course, when I say that, there's one more uh, data pad here that we have to uh, retrieve. Let's retrieve the data. And it says that I went through the data logs from the servers and managed to put together rough timelines of the events that led up to the crash. I know the initial speculation was criminal sabotage, but based on this, it looked like worker negligence had to... Uh, as sad as it is to say. So that's why here, yeah, this is the reason why uh, they eventually concluded that Donald was um, that Donald was responsible for the destruction of the station because they thought that he was drunk and they thought that because he was drunk he did a poor job and as a result the station was uh, the station was destroyed but uh, the, his wife uh, thinks that he was framed and we are going to uh, figure out very soon that it was perhaps the case so let's keep on going can I uh, I have to uh, go make my way around those server boxes in EVA. Yeah, there you go. Uh, navigating in EVA is not always that easy, unfortunately. So we just opened that door here. And uh, as we open that door, you can see that uh, we are going to be back where we were at the hubs. There you go. Deck 3. This is the uh, the elevator right there. That's the elevator that takes us to the second floor, and these are the hubs that are going to take us to the first floor. So these are the same empty hubs from earlier, just from a different angle, right? And there is going to be another empty one with, you can see, nothing inside. We're exactly where we were before, but uh, these are the next ones that are going to be interesting. So let's go here. Let's try to see if we can open this one. So this is the one that said, you know, do not touch. But as we get inside, yeah, there's nothing, uh, nothing that interesting. There you go. Or is it? Is the computer available? Yes, it is. We can retrieve the data, and uh, it looks like this is a message from Darnold to his wife. <laughs> interesting. Uh, why is there a message uh, to his wife? Hmm. I guess that this is actually the the hub from uh, Darnold. But he does admit that he is drunk indeed, and he was not supposed to be drunk. So maybe, yeah, maybe it's something that we're not supposed to be uh, to be seeing here. But that's fine. That's fine. Let's keep on. Oh, am I inside the hub? Yes. <laughs> Luckily, we can open the door from outside. But uh, okay, so this was the Donald's hub here. But we've got another one that we still need to open, and now we should have somehow, for some reason, we should have access to the code so again there's a, an open there you go open here lots of bottles of whiskey which used to be interactable in 2.0 but now we are going to retrieve hey, the data listen to that to let you know that i got the ops guys passcode last night took a whole damn bottle of esquire to do it <laughs> talk about being able to hold your liquor i set the routine to bypass the monitoring protocols at 1400 the crates should go through no problem just be ready at the drop all right by the way had to change over the security stuff Codes attached. <laughs> Looks like this person who was not a person of interest was a person of interest after all. So what we're going to do, let's go back to personal here. Accepted, PI wanted. And now we are going to submit the evidence. And you are going to listen to the wife who will be I very to happy. I let you know that I got the information you sent. And if what you found is true, I owe you a very big thank you. And Kovalex owes me and my husband an apology. Thank you again. I'm uploading your payment to your account now. And that's pretty much it. There we go. 8,000 Alpha UEC. Now, as far as reputation is concerned, as of now, because this was recorded about two days ago, I have not noticed any changes. Uh, there wasn't a single mission giver that was... I was hoping maybe Mouse card would be unlocked after that, but nope. So, I don't know if there's a use for actually doing that mission, but at least... Uh, you got the proud, uh, the pride of uh, completing this mission and doing it with the uh, the happy ending, which is, you know, eventually the wife figures out that her husband was indeed innocent and framed. Anyway, guys, that's all for this video. I'm going to try to get inside uh, my ship here. How do I get in my Super Hornet? I can't even get in. A little uh, tiny, and uh, sometimes it's a little bit bug, right? So thank you so much for watching. Is uh, these uh, engines that I hear looks like we got a hostile? Now, 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 what is going on? Here? Now that is I I don't know if that's actually a part of the mission, 
or not like some NPCs getting revenge but I am being attacked by an NPC what is that an aura LN well we're going to make very short work of that aura LN it wouldn't be the eradicators channel without a little fact right that all those beautiful guns get a full firepower of this uh, fully armed super hornet that aura right here is not standing a chance got three attrition guns from Herson Dynamics and two Neutrons NDB-30. Well, the problem with the Aurora is that it's a tiny ship, so it's not easy to hit, especially if you have a couple of uh, fixed weapons, but there we have it, guys. And that's the all. Uh, that's the end of this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching again. This has been the Eradicator. I'll see you guys later. This video is brought to you by the people who support this channel on Patreon and via the join button as well. Supporters of the channel get access to lots of cool perks such as access to my private discord, your question answered in the show, you get to know when I'm going to play, and also, you get to have a chance to influence the editorial line of the channel. Any help is appreciated, starts as just a dollar a month. Thank you very much for watching, this is The Eradicator, and I'll see you guys later.